Morning, everybody. Well, here we are again. It's uh, the uh, first of May. Hooray, hooray, the first of May. And May showers bring June flowers, hopefully. <laughs> We're starting a new month, and I can see the old uh, snow banks are finally going down. I'm seeing ground I haven't seen for months. Look at that. Look at that there, eh? Well, it's doing okay. Progress. It's supposed to get rain for the next several days, which is great. Just just enhances the thawing process. <laughs> well, I got looking at the scriptures this morning. And, uh, well, first of all, I, I haven't been following it as closely as I did the trucker convoy. But looks like uh, the bikers, the motorcyclists, or whatever you want to say, are now in Ottawa uh, en masse. Lots of people. Bikes of all kinds. All kinds of bikers. <laughs> uh, motorcycle people. And uh, very, very peaceful protest from what I understand, regardless of what, you know, uh, certain people would uh, say. And so they're pro uh, they were at the, the war memorial, I guess, and protesting all over and just riding their bikes slowly and peacefully and revving their engines a bit. <laughs> well, what's the fun of having a motorcycle if you can't rev the engine a little bit? Anyway, uh, I digress. Uh, thinking, thinking that, look at this. It says... He says, uh, my son, chapter one, Proverbs one, May the first, start your Proverbs again, right? That's what we're doing. Uh, my son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole as those that go down to the pit. We will. We shall find all precious substance. We shall fill their houses with spoil. Now, if I was a left-wing moonbat nutcase, I would say, <clears throat> "See that the scriptures are saying that the the motorcycle convoy is is uh, uh, courting people to come and join them and 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 overthrow the government and <laughs> kind of like." Uh, Black Lives Matter and Antifa when they tried to burn down half the United States. Remember that? That's the same bunch that uh, Trudeau knelt down, you know, and I don't know, pretended to cry or something, whatever he did amongst all those people. Well, anyway, that, that's all forgotten now. <laughs> but my son, if sinners entice thee, uh, what happens is the government will use the media to entice people to their way of thinking. And that's what's going on. They're the sinners that are enticing uh, us to join forces with the, the media. They'll use the media to do that and to try to put a, uh, a slant on things that really wouldn't be there if they didn't have the media bought and paid for. So there's the Bible principle playing out before our very eyes and not that we would expect, right? But there it is. Why? Because people are making trillions of dollars uh, at our expense. And uh, I wouldn't want to name names or whatever and get kicked off of YouTube. <laughs> but we all know who they are. I mean, everybody knows because it's, it's hidden in plain sight. They don't even bother to cover it up anymore. <laughs> the powers that be. The powers that be. And are very afraid. And not to beat the thing about Elon Musk, but Elon Musk is now the champion, uh, theoretically, of free speech. So he's got this huge platform with Twitter that people are going to be able to tell their story without being censured or censored, one or the other. And uh, that has, I'm sure it has the elites, the, po the, the powers that be, shaking in their boots. Well, my, my son, if sinners consent, how's it go again? It's Solomon talking to his son. If sinners entice thee, consent not, consent thou not. If CBC entice thee, consent thou not. 
<laughs> okay. Are you saved? This is our only protection against this. We can march in the street, banging a drum, carrying a placard, and confronting the government and chanting and carrying on. And I don't blame anybody who wants to do that. But the Lord said, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. He said uh, to follow, take up your cross and follow him. And how do you do that? What's the mandate? Of, a mandate? There's a, a 2022 word. But not really. What's the mandate of every Christian? Preach the gospel. First and foremost, do whatever you can. Preach the gospel. The system is crumbling around our ears. But what do we do as Christians? Preach the gospel. And what is the gospel? It is no less and no more than repentance toward God and faith toward the Lord Jesus Christ. You're putting all your hope for heaven on Jesus Christ. Die for your sins was buried and rose again the third day. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Okay, talk to you later.